Uh oh. It's a night video. If you've been watching my channel for a long enough, you would know that I have what I call these these crazy night video talks where I peel myself out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning and tell you some crazy stuff. Well, <laughs> I really have been thinking about and perceiving that I, I want us to evolve. Our culture, our people, our literally human race to evolve. And I believe that we are held back mentally, emotionally, psycho-emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. There's all these different levels of truth, socially, you know, universally. And the people that are very evolved spiritually and these people we look up to that have done these amazing things are the people that have been, you know, persecuted, they've been murdered, they've been framed, they've been set up, they've been spit on, they've been they've been mocked and they've been just, you know, banned. But we continue to drug ourselves with what feels good in the moment, with entertainment, and we don't want to face the truth of things for the most part. But we, even when we do want to face the truth or talk about the truth, whether it be in relationships, with friends, with coworkers, with anything, it's so hard that we stop and we feel this massive amount of resistance because it's not surface deep. This shit is really deep. And nobody wants to talk about deep stuff. Fuck that. Because you gotta get real deep to get to the truth. And the truth cuts like a knife and it stings. <sighs> But underneath it is all this freedom or unconditional love. I've had uh, a couple videos that it's got like a tremendous amount of views of me talking about some, you know, really deep stuff. Well, not tremendous. Fucking what's a hundred thousand views compared to YouTube? Like, I mean, the stuff that's got the most views of guys is guys jumping out of hot air balloons and fucking doing crazy stuff and that's really exciting and entertaining but I'm waiting to see stuff blow up on YouTube that's got like it's so impactfully truthful that people are just riveted and they you know you break down crying by watching the video like one thing I love to watch is like the videos of soldiers coming home and they're at like the airport they walk home and their kids stop whatever they're doing and just run to their fathers or mothers you know uh, just crying and they're all holding each other and or the dog is like keeps wagging his tail and I'm watching this shit like <laughs> crying and shit because you can't be helped but to be moved because the power of truth and love and all that and being human is so powerful that it's something you can't deny right but I want to talk about like it goes right down to the inside of our homes and our families and the people that we love so dearly that we treat bad or treat us bad or you know there really is no right or wrong or good or bad there's only relativity excuse me what people are suffering and I believe that we're so caught up by design in paying bills and fighting tooth and fucking nail just to survive in this plastic culture that we can't even really get out of the facade enough to get back into Phi, to get back into integration and start moving the fuck forward in our evolution. We're just sitting here stagnant I mean, I could get really, really deep into it. I don't know, I'm just being kind of vague, and I know, I'm aware of what I'm saying. Because, let's say somebody finally has a weekend off work, and they want to, um, you know, really just kind of mentally and emotionally detox from all the stress in their life, and, you know, get it all off get all their errands done, get everything that they gotta get done, but really you realize there's so much stuff in your life that's been neglected and abandoned and stuff and just all types of things and people, of course people, and things that need to be ironed out that it's like, fuck, how, how would you even get to this? How would you even try? Because you gotta be right back to work on Monday 
back in the trenches and in the grind and you know 99% of people get off work and they're so damn tired and emotionally exhausted from battling the day that they got off work they eat dinner and maybe do some housework and go to bed so it it takes some some, some serious truth seeking some serious fact finding some serious deep riveting reasons why to have the power to you know maybe go in and intervene with a family member who's struggling with something or 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 bend over backwards and sacrifice your own life and your own homestead like somebody's uh because it will take down your own. Like somebody said to me recently, you know, back in the day in culture, you know, people all lived together and they would solve things together and families would work it out together. And now everybody lives in their own individual house and everybody's barricaded off from everybody else. Even family members are barricaded in our own little cubicles and we're all like just fighting to survive. And everybody's separated and compartmentalized. And like, if you do the research and study, you can see that supposedly the dark side of things the powers that be have done and are doing this and even through the media to make it all done by design and I don't want to get too deep into that because it's an endless rabbit hole <laughs> it just leads you down to like oh, okay so what the hell do we do now you know just sit and wait but I can see it everywhere you can see it in the eyes of people you can see it when you walk through the damn grocery store that you see tremendous amount of pain and suffering all over the place. If you can allow yourself to open and be kind of empathic, you know, it's not fun, but you could literally walk through like a shopping mall plaza or something, and literally, by the time you get in your car, you could be in tears, because you could feel the pain of people. But on the contrary, my wife's, uh, her father said something amazing to me once. Back in the day, I used to watch all these crazy documentaries and this conspiracy stuff. And I'd be like, the world's gonna end. <laughs> and he said, Keith, I see a world of hard-working people and good people who are all trying their best and, and strong, good people. I was like, whoa. You know what, you're right. And I started looking in the eyes of my neighbors and people, and I said, oh my God, these are intelligent people. And also, kind of like, I get to talk to a lot of people on social media. And I read a lot of emails and things like that. I'm like, wow. And whenever I talk to people on the phone, I'm like, you get to know people all over the country and all over the world. I'm like, there's so many intelligent, smart, hardworking people with such good hearts who want the best for not only themselves and their families, and their towns and their their cities but humanity at large you know they're very uh, world centric so life is good and people are good and despite the bullshit in the media because I don't even watch the news anymore the other night the news was on I don't know we had the TV on <laughs> it was after some show I don't know she likes to watch this uh, Kardashian show <laughs> hey man she's got her show that's fine but after the show the news came on and we were sitting there you know we just ended up watching the news or something sitting there eating some pistachios and then I'm like holy crap the world is falling apart I'm like no fuck that that's the media uh, this shit's really happening but the media will put a big fucking magnifying glass on it to the point where everybody's sitting in their houses biting their nails going, what are we going to do? Well, what about all the amazing good things that are happening in the world? Because I'll tell you, for damn straight, there's a lot of amazing, powerful things. Remember the world was supposed to end in 2012? It didn't end. The world's supposed to end every year. The moon is supposed to turn blood red, and then the and then the belt of Saturn is expanding, and that means demons are being unleashed on the world. <laughs> that means that like the gates of hell are opening up, and all this crazy shit. You know, hey, I've uh, just said I've had some really really deep insane dreams that have woken me up like 
feeling that I knew things that no one else knew. <laughs> we all go through the same weird shit. And then you go to work, you know? When I got an uncle. No, we're just hanging out, no. I'll, I'll end the video. I got an uncle. He works himself to the bone. He's a small business owner. Feeds his family. Very good man. I've said some deep shit to him before. Just reaching out, you know? He says, Keith, you should be so busy working and feeding your family that you don't got time to think about that crazy shit. And I was like, you know what? He's right. But what does that lead to? What does it lead to? When you're so busy working that you don't think about it. You know exactly what it leads to. So I challenge you to sum this up, to start thinking of really, really good, powerful stuff. I want you to breathe and start thinking about your life and the lives around you. And think about your destiny. David Data said, lock yourself in a room with a notepad and a pen and do, do not come out until you know what your purpose is. And another you know, person said, Find out, finding out the purpose of your life is the, the most powerful thing you could do and then pursuing it. And even Simon Sinek, who's another author, says a speech on TED Talks, says start with why. The deepest reasons of why. Because how is stupid it's not stupid but how doesn't matter as much as why when you know why then how happens automatically but not until you know why and sometimes you have to go through absolute utter hell to find out why and the hell once you get past it because you will once you get through that hell you get to a point where you're always looking back at that hell and that hell reminds you why. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going back to bed. See you soon.